on. I want to do my two week update, my postpartum update, and my baby update for two weeks. My little Zadius here is two weeks old today at 10 16 this morning. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna talk about his update first and then I'll talk about how I'm feeling after. And I kind of wrote down stuff as the days went by. Okay, my baby sleeps a lot. I feel like it's like 80% of the day he sleeps. Well, not so much this week. Okay, this is the first week he was just sleeping all the time. He'd feed, he'd go back to bed, and then he'd just wake up to be changed and fed again. So it was just like, he was just always sleeping. This week, it's he's awake more. He's trying to look around, trying to like look at my face, stuff like that. He hiccups a lot. I don't know, he doesn't seem to mind the hiccups, but it's just almost... He probably gets them about three, four times a day. Like not every feed, but a lot of them. After I burp him, he'll he'll start to take up. Uh, he spits up maybe only a few times a day too. Like it's not even like a lot of spit up. It's just like comes out a little bit on his mouth. So I find that's pretty cool. So he barely cries. He only cries if he's being changed, and it's not even a lot. Sometimes it's just when he's like really hungry and frustrated. And I try to do it as quick as possible. He's breastfeeding, so he's not got any formula at all. And he latches all right. I mean, it's it hurts sometimes, but I mean, I think he's he's doing a pretty good job. My first baby, I pumped for a month, and then we switched to formula after a few months. So I never breastfed her at all, but him, I'm loving the experience here. And he had at his two day checkup after we were discharged. That was, he was born on a Wednesday and we, he seen someone on a Sunday. He lost about, he was 6'14 when he was born and I think he went down to 6'1, I'm pretty sure. So he lost 13 ounces. But then we, he had a little bit of, his jaundice levels were kind of close to the borderline. like. I think they said it was 300 that was jaundice, the numbers, and he was at like 263, so they're like, he's kind of close, but we'll just keep an eye on it, and so they're like, come back in a few days and we'll check it again, so I was like, okay, so we go back that Wednesday, so he would be a one week old last Wednesday, and he, his levels went down, and he went back up to 6 pounds, 10 ounces in a few days, so I mean, he gained quite a bit in a few days so <laughs> and then we didn't see we didn't have any appointments till the, today till he was two weeks old at our family doctor and he got weighed and he is seven pounds ten ounces so he gained a pound in a week which is just crazy I was just so surprised when I put him on the scale and the nurse pushed the button it said seven pounds ten ounces and I was just shocked and I was just like what <laughs> he's eating that much like or he's gaining that much he did eat an hour prior but still that's still a lot I find so yeah he's happy I think 95% of the time he sleeps a lot and he just really like he likes his mama a lot <laughs> which I don't mind at all he can be a mama's boy I don't care he can be left like like he doesn't always want to be held which is good for me because my daughter kind of always wanted to be held and cuddled and stuff and him he's he wants to be cuddled a lot but I can leave him on the bed or in the playpen while I do stuff and he's and he doesn't cry he'll just either sleep or he'll just make grunting noises and just chill there and hang out. He kind of has this, I only have one concern and he has, or two concerns, I only have two concerns. Sometimes his breathing kind of freaks me out, like his like chest kind of moves weird, but I'm assuming it's normal. But if it freaks me out, I'll just mention it. And he has like a blister on the top of his lip from breastfeeding and it's finally starting to like go away a little bit, but 
I wasn't sure about that. I asked about that today, and he said it was normal for babies to get blisters on their lips, so I'm just, he just said not to touch it, and it should go away, and I have an appointment with the doctor again in a month, so should be gone by then. He has taken four baths since he was born, and seems to enjoy them. He really likes chilling in the hot water, so that's awesome. And he has lots of hair. Like, I don't think he lost much. I don't know when they start to lose their hair, but he seems to have a lot. <laughs> and he is in... <laughs> he fits newborn clothes really, really, really well. And for... But, like, I don't have a lot of newborn clothes. I have a lot of 0 to 3, so he kind of wears 0 to 3 just to... Like, right now, he's wearing 0 to 3, and it's pretty baggy on him. But, I mean, it's better than... It's better than nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His eyes just went wide open. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind tummy time, which is great. I'll put him on my chest, or I'll put him wherever, and he'll just... He tries to lift his head all the time, so that's great. Yeah, so that's, that's, I think, that's, I think, the update for him. Now, postpartum-wise, I feel really, really good this time around. I don't feel barely any anxiety compared to last time. I mean, a first-time mom, you always, don't, you don't know what's going on. You don't know if your baby's okay, and you're always waking up, making sure, like, they're okay, making sure they're breathing and stuff like that. Well, with him, like, I do check just to make sure he's okay and his best nap is on my bed, but, like, the worries aren't as, aren't there as much because I know what's, what to expect and I know what's normal and what's not normal. So I feel really, really good and he's such a good baby so it doesn't put a lot of stress on me. And he barely cries and I don't, I don't freak out if he's crying because, like, I kind of know, like, I take one day at a time and if he has a bad night, well, I just tell myself, it's going to be better tomorrow, and you can have a better night tomorrow night. I mean, he can have a worse night, but I mean, I always try to look at it on the better side. Breastfeeding, for me, has been a really, really, really good experience, especially since it's my first time really breastfeeding. I He feeds about every two to three hours during the day, and then at night, sometimes he'll go three to four hours. I don't mind at all. His eyes are wide open. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> and um, I'm I'm really enjoying it. My milk supply came about two to three days after he was born. I think it was on like the second day. My boob started to get hard and start filling up, and it was it hurt at first. But um, yeah, one of my boobs he wouldn't latch onto very well because it was over full so he was struggling to take in like my boobs are like filled like they got filled really fast and I have a lot of milk and even with last time when I pumped I produced a lot of milk so I think he's just trying to keep up with my <laughs> supply so I'd always have to pump one boob if he wouldn't latch on a few times and pump what whatever would come out which would usually range between four and six ounces. There's lots in there, but he only feeds for about 10 minutes on one boob per session. And uh, I thought that was crazy, but I mean, I guess if you have a large milk supply, well, they get full pretty fast. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so. Breastfeeding wise, it's going good. I mean, with the oversupply, there's that. Yes, yesterday was the first time he ever choked, though, like on my milk because it was going, coming out so fast. I've been trying to keep up with trying to get him on both or one. Like, I'd keep trying the one that he was having troubles with, which he kind of got over a few days ago. So now he'll latch with my help, and I'm kind of still learning. <laughs> I'm still learning how to breastfeed right and stuff. But I know he's being fed real good by his weight, so... So yeah, I covered breastfeeding, and it makes my mental state feel a lot more connected to him on a connection level. Like, I never want to leave his side, like, besides, like, going to the store or something, I'll do that. But I always want to bring him 
far away like I don't want to introduce a bottle for a while because I don't want him to be confused he does take a soother but he doesn't always want it like when he has the hiccups he'll he'll want it a little bit just I think he tries to say, like get rid of them or something I don't know I don't know he doesn't mind it then after he's fed a lot then he'll take it too that's about it so but he has no problem latching on like after the soother he, he won't take the soother all the time so I'm hoping bottle feeding will be smooth. I don't want to do it till maybe he's like two or three months just to see. Like I do want him to take a bottle in case like something happens where someone else needs to feed him because I do have breast milk in the freezer so he'll still be getting breast milk. I have quite a bit of breast milk already in the freezer but I'm not pumping all the time. I may be pumping once a day just to get the extra out then like if it's sore if my boobs are too full or sore or he won't latch onto that one well I'll pump that one if he hasn't been on it for a while and my boobs feel really sore yeah I know this video is kind of all over the place but I guess the postpartum for me is the breastfeeding and how it's going my nipples are pretty sore when he latches now at first they weren't so I don't know if he's just not latching as good as he used to or or what's going on but maybe I should I was using nipple cream at first and so maybe I should start using it again because I stopped. Uh, mentally I feel good. Physically I feel great. My incision is healing pretty well I think. It's still pink but like it's still numb. I can kind of poke at it with my fingers and it's and I can't really feel too too much but I think it's going well. I can walk around no pain no problem. There's I don't feel like I'm incapable. I, I have to pick up my toddler a lot like to put her in her crib and her high chair and stuff and she's about 23 pounds so after a few days maybe about day five I think I had to start doing that because if nobody was home well I had no choice and that kind of hurt but it wasn't too too bad but now I have no problem lifting her up anywhere or carrying her and stuff. I'm still trying to limit how much I carry her but I know I, know, I feel and I feel that it's okay to carry her. That's just what I think. And I do have my six week appointment at the end of this month. So four more weeks to go and hopefully everything's good to go after that. I cannot wait to go back to the gym. I've been walking a little bit here and there. Trying to get in a little bit of exercise, just walking um, to prep my body up for I'm gonna slowly work my way back to what I was doing before and I'll bring you guys on the journey for that once I start that and I'll tell you guys weight and what I do and you know what I eat and stuff like that so yeah physically physically is good mentally is good breastfeeding is good so most of that is covered postpartum wise I haven't really had the baby blues I'm more in like an awestruck like I'm just in love with him I got postpartum last time when my daughter was about five, six, seven months old, so I'm scared for that to happen, but this experience is just a lot better than my last time. No traumatic birth, you know, no, everything was just set and everything was perfect, pretty much. So I'm glad everything went as planned and I feel 100% like my mental state is good which I'm so happy but yeah so I think that's about it for his update and my update and I hope you guys enjoy I can show you guys my stomach on how much I have uh, lost I weighed myself at the gym the other day my highest point in pregnancy I was 180 and I gained 30 pounds the whole pregnancy and when I weighed myself last week, I was 161. So pretty much I lost 20 pounds since I gave birth, which I am really, really happy about. I only have 10 pounds to go. So, I mean, I'm in no rush right now because I'm just enjoying eating whatever, you know, just making it through these first six weeks. And then uh, it'll go, be go time after that. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys my stomach. the lighting's not the best. 
but uh, yeah I still have my top abs which is really weird and I got my love handles back that I tried to lose last time I lost weight but I just have this little pouch to go it just goes in a little bit so I am okay I'm I'm happy with with the results of of what I've lost so all right guys thanks for watching I hope you click that like and subscribe button for more mommy related videos I'm sorry I look like death but I think that's just my newborn eyes <laughs> but uh, I'm not struggling I don't find I'm I'm tired quite a bit I'm not exhausted I'm just tired more than usual. I hope you continue to watch my journey on my son and I'll be doing more updates and my fitness journey when I started and yeah I hope you guys enjoy I will see you guys next time. Bye!